Hi all, this is Gary with 2N. Today we're going to show you how to upgrade the firmware on your 2N Helios IP intercom. Starting out on my desktop, I'm running the 2N network scanner and I can see that uh, I have various different versions of firmware running on my different 2N Helios units. So we'll concentrate today on the 2N Helios IP Force currently running version 2.13.3. Step number one is to use whatever default web browser you have and go to our website www.2nusa.com. From here we'll select the product type we're dealing with, in this case the IP Force. I'll click on that image, scroll down to the download section, and then hover the mouse over the Firmware tab. Here I can see all the available firmware versions, as well as the release notes, should I wish to view bug fixes, feature enhancements, etc. I'll simply click on the download icon. We'll see in the lower left corner of my screen the application firmware being downloaded in a zipped format. At this point I can go ahead and close the web browser. I'm going to use the File Explorer folder and browse to the Downloads folder on my computer. Next step is to right click on the zipped file and select Extract All. Here we now see the extracted binary file, which soon will be uploading to our Helios device, as well as a viewable version of the release notes. So I'm going to go ahead and close those. Next step is to browse to the, uh, the unit we're upgrading, in this case the Force. So either explicitly launching my default browser and typing in the IP address, or using the 2N network scanner, I can simply double click on that particular entry close to that device. Default credentials are admin and the password 2N where the N is lowercase. We'll log in, view the dashboard on the Helios Force we see we're currently running 2.13.3 firmware, so I'll scroll down and select the orange system tile. From there, I'll go to the maintenance link and select upgrade firmware. Select file, we'll browse to the folder where we have the unzipped binary file. I'll double click on that and say upload. Monitoring the slider bar, we can see the status of the upload of the firmware to the device. The force will now reset itself, and approximately 30 seconds later will invite us to log in again. Once the restart is complete, we'll hear a series of tones emanating from the Helios unit, and we'll be offered a login screen. typing in our username and password. And now we can see that in fact our firmware version has transitioned to the latest version of firmware. This concludes the tutorial on upgrading the Helios firmware. Thank you very much.